West Side went 10 years before taking a break. But then yeah. you did come back a year later, didn't you? You took a hiatus yeah. with One Direction. That sort of bought us another four or five years, I feel. Mm. And um, who knows you know, what would be the case if we took a few more breaks during mm. the years as well. Um, but, you know, the powers that be, uh, they don't want you to take a break. They want you to get another album straight out there. And that's kind of probably why they've done five years in a row. Mm. And now they're just probably a bit like... Exhausted. I don't care what anyone thinks, we're, we're, we have to take a break. But know? when you're mm. so successful, is there a point where the balance of power tips, where actually the power is in the <clears> boys' <throat> hands as opposed to the management, because you are making so much, you are so successful in the same yeah, and I think, I mean, you. part of that is fair. I mean, you know, people, you always hear managers and record companies giving out that the band have now got an opinion and, you know, where, when did that happen? Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, that's called growing up and becoming an adult and not being, you know, a puppet or whatever. And, um, yeah, so, you, I mean, the band effectively have to walk onto the stage, you know, for the concert to happen. So you do have power or whatever. And... Sometimes, you know, you have to sort of have that self-respect and use mm. it a little bit, you know, and just say no. And the word no wasn't in our vocabulary for a long time. And, and then you grow up a little bit and you find the word no, and that's probably what's happening. They're like, you know what, we need a break, you know, mm. simple. Because I guess not only is there the getting on together as individuals, but also you've probably all got, as you grow up, slightly different musical tastes. I mean, you have now your solo career. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your song. Um, well, I've got a new album that I've been kind of working on since mm. Westlife finished, um, and I've kind of I just stepped away from everything, and I just decided to see what I was made of, and mm. I just went off and um, worked with producers that I wanted to work with, and sort of done everything very organically, and that's the album is a result of all that. Um, I had a song called Love Is a Drug out a few months back, and now Butterfly is the second song, and the album's in October. So yeah, it's exciting times for me, you know, for sure. That's what the individual One Direction want to do. They want to go off, develop their singing, develop their performance and their styles which you get the chance to do as separate individuals I guess yeah well I mean there's two kind of things simultaneously happening which is you know the reality and then there's mm. the big picture and the, and the persona that the, that the record company and everything sort of put out to the public and of course the, the, the real person there they want to like evolve as a person and they want to mm. you know try out different things and stuff and that doesn't always fit in with the other mm. picture no. that the record company wants and so sometimes you do have to kind of step away you know yes people would request they'd be like oh we want to see the person behind this mm. channel like show your face and this was about six years ago and i was like why would i want to put like my face in front of a camera and make a video um but nevertheless i did it and tried it and people were like oh this is amazing make your own channel doing that 